Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. We are starting off with doing a full face of makeup, a full glam, which is quite rare for me because I am very lazy. But today is Sunday and it's actually our anniversary today, the 15th of May. So I'm going, I'm putting in the effort today. Sometimes I just get really over it and really sick of wearing makeup and I just don't wear makeup for weeks on end. But sometimes I'm just like, ooh. Yeah, let's do it. And I'm feeling like I'm in that mood. So I just showered and I washed my hair today and I just straightened it and I'm just, I'm just really feeling it. So Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I'm just going to rub this all over. And now tonight we are actually going to a beautiful restaurant by the looks of it. We have never been there before. It is right on the Brisbane River. It is called The Boat Shed. Right right next to the regatta, which I have been to many times. Hollywood Flawless Filter, Charlotte Tilbury. And now I used to put this on like this and then put on the Charlotte Tilbury foundation, just like blop it and then like blend it all together. But I saw all over TikTok that everyone puts this on, blends it and then puts the foundation on and blends it. So I'm gonna do it in two steps because TikTok told me to. I use 2.5 Fair as well in the filter. And for Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation, I use Too Natural. And a lot of people were asking about my tanning routine. I used Melana Tan, which is uh, like a synthetic form of melanin, which is the chemical basically that gives your skin pigment or darker color. So people with dark hair have more melanin in their hair than blonde people. And basically, I, you can inject it and I've tried that before and I think I've talked about this before but I'll just mention it again. Um, it made me like kind of sick, it made me really nauseous so I didn't do that again. But I did use like the nasal decongestant spray, <laughs> it reminds me of nasal decongestant, but it's just Melanotan 2 in like a nasal thing and I used just one bottle of that probably once a day for, it probably lasted me like three months I would say. It did give me a lot of freckles, a lot of Nevi, so I actually had them removed uh, at this place called Arrays at the Gold Coast, not sponsored, I paid for it, I think it was like $300 to have all of my freckles and moles like zapped. They only really did my face and one arm because they weren't sure if it was going to work because they were all flat moles, they weren't like raised which are much easier to get rid of and I was super impressed actually with the results. They went like black, all of my moles on my face went black straight away and I was nervous. And they were like, no, it's totally normal. Yeah, then they faded. And so I still do have some, like they've come back a little bit, especially that one which I've had my entire life and like some around my forehead. So I'll probably actually go back and do it again because it's just my personal preference that I, I just like being Nevi-less. <laughs> But yeah, like I would, I would recommend it. Uh, they're also not medical professionals. They're like tattoo remover, tattoo removalists by trade. So they know how to use the machines, but they're not medical. So it's always important to get your skin checked by a dermatologist or whoever your uh, skin physician is before you get that done. And I always go for my annual skin checks because I have a lot of skin cancer in my family. My Custard Medium 1 NARS Creamy Concealer, just under the eyes. When you're taking Milana 10 as well, you need to expose yourself to UV. So I, I love being in the sun. Like I love being outside, up at the pool, going to the beach. But I would try and do like work or read a book or whatever just in the sun for like half an hour to an hour. And I did notice as well with Milana 10 that I never burnt and I could literally stay outside all day, which I loved. And um, I do really like, like the color that it gave me. I look really pale on camera, but I will insert maybe like a before and after of my Melanotan results. Do I advocate it? No, of course not, because it's not regulated, so it can be dangerous. So I would say do your research and test it slowly if you are going to do it. Um, I was really keen and I think I did like two, I did two snorts in each nostril every night as soon as I got it. And I think that was a little bit too much too soon for my body, hence all of the freckles. Now, not everybody gets freckles, but I got like, I got, quite a few like I wasn't like splattered with freckles but I had like quite a few moles like flat moles and the ones that I had prior to going on Milano 10 like really darkened uh but I would do it again and um like we're going into winter so I'm not going to really worry about it I'm just using 
Amber 01 Matchsticks by Fenty. I haven't used this a whole lot because I'm not someone who values spending time on my makeup, but I'm just feeling like the, in the mood at the moment, so hopefully I can make this work. <laughs> I've used the whole bottle of Melanotan. I will probably purchase another bottle maybe later in the year coming into Australian summer if I'm pr I probably would want to maybe get a little bit darker than what I am but I do have some amazing tan lines um, just that show me the color that I was before I'm also wanting to do a vlog where I fly to Sydney for the day I live in Brisbane and go to somewhere like the men's clinic they're really like the only people that I've seen who are like really up there in the world of injectables in Sydney. If you guys have any injectable recommendations in Sydney, please let me know uh, because my favorite injector in Brisbane, Liz, left and I'm devastated. She used to work injects, uh, but the tea is injects now uses a cheaper, not as good form of filler. They don't use the Kiss filler anymore, which they used to. And the only time that I didn't see Liz at Injex, they had misplaced the filler, so it looked like it had migrated, but it was just from like day dot, like they had placed incorrectly, which was such a disaster because it meant that I had to go back, have it dissolved, start again, have it refilled. Like it was good because Liz fixed it for me and it was free, but it was still just like such an unnecessary bother. And I find lip injectables just so incredibly painful. So that wasn't very fun. So I have trust issues now. I don't know why I'm putting in this much effort around my forehead because I'm going to wear my hair out and I have the world's biggest widow's peak. So <laughs> it's definitely going to be covered, but it's fine. So yes, I'm thinking about flying down for the day, vlogging my experience where I get everything that I want to get done on myself. And I, mm, basically I'm super overdue for lip filler, for chin filler. I've never had my cheeks or my jaw done, but I really would like to. And I was wearing makeup when I was teaching on Friday and it was probably halfway through the day and I went to the bathroom and I literally had all of these like foundation, like streaks like from smiling so much. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but like they're, they're pretty bad. Uh, and so all of my makeup, all my product was getting stuck in the grooves, which was a bit gross. So I'm really keen to try uh, getting some botulinum there and also look at how much my eyebrows are moving. They haven't moved this much since I was a child. No, it's been like six months, I think, since I've had my uh, Botox done in my forehead and frown, which I love. It's just like my personal thing. I don't like any movement and... Uh, it makes such a difference to the surface of the skin, especially when wearing makeup, I've found. Like, I'm only 24. I don't need Botox by any means. Uh, and I don't necessarily get it for prevention, may maybe a little bit. But what I noticed was that I'm super expressive. Like, I have really strong facial muscles. And uh, I did have three pretty prominent grooves in my forehead, uh, which is fine. It's like natural aging. But every time I would put makeup on, like, you could noticeably see the product basically going into those grooves because of my, like, every time I speak, like, my eyebrows raise. So yeah, I just wanted to be a statue and I really like, I just, I like the effect of Botox and I think it looks good. And yeah, I think that if you want it, do it. Threads or something, if you guys have ever had PDO threads, I've heard some people say they're great. I've heard some people say they're a complete waste of time. I would just love to like experiment, you know, like I just feel like injectables and stuff that they're, they're not permanent. They're just like a fun way of, I don't know, just being angular and symmetrical. And I just, I'm really into that. So I'm going in with Peony by Steeler. It is the only liquid, well it's not really a liquid, it's like a gel pomade blush that I have uh, because I'm, I'm the powder girl through and through, but we're going all out today. I'm using a beauty blender. I'm just like dabbing it in there. It's, it's probably wrong, but it's a really pretty color. I like it a lot. It's not too like fuchsia, but it's also not orange. It's just like a really pretty pink that I like a lot. Also, if you watched my last YouTube video, I am so sorry. The quality was horrific. And I was basically slagging my camera being like, stupid, stupid Canon. Like, I hate it. It's, this was an expensive camera. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And so many people, you guys were not happy. I'm so sorry. Someone was like, um, how can I be bothered to watch this when you can't even be bothered to like fix the focus? And like, truth be told, my eyesight is that bad that when I look at the viewfinder, I like I, it's blurry to me anyway, so I can't usually tell if I'm in focus or not. But yes, very sorry about that. Totally understand if you were too triggered by that to watch it. I never change the settings on my camera. It's always been like the vlogging setting, autofocus, like whatever. 
but because I was traveling recently, it had knocked. And so it had gone on to like still camera. So that's why it was having problems focusing. So it wasn't actually the camera, it was me. Sorry about that. But we should be all good by now. Please tell me if the quality is still bad. I'm going to set my face now. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury translucent. Yeah, translucent. And I just use trying not to flash you guys. I literally hate clothes. Like I have absolutely no time in the world for clothes. I think it's a highlighter brush actually by Real Techniques. And I'm just going under my eyes where I have my concealer and already I have like the lines. I get really bad like concealer lines under my eyes. And I find that, I don't know, maybe this isn't the best translucent powder for it or maybe, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it is what it is. I'm then going to use my cover fx drops in sunlight i like these a lot i've had them for years i literally just put actually i'm just gonna put it on my face like one dot there and one dot there like in the middle of like the highest points of my face and just like blendy blend blend is that blending yeah i think so so last night we went out for Greek food and I really never had much Greek food. Like love a good Greek salad, but like never really had Greek because in my mind it's just like really meaty. And recently we went to Greca in Brisbane at Howsmith Wharves. Amazing. Their moussaka, which is kind of like a shepherd's pie with lentils in it. Life changing. And like the, what is it called? The cheese? Saganaki? chef's kiss everything there was amazing and so I actually ended up having my birthday dinner if you guys watch my birthday vlog oh my god why am I so sweaty my birthday vlog I actually went to Hellenica and that also great loving Greek food lately so last night I asked on my Instagram poll if you don't follow me on Instagram follow me on Instagram I post on there every single day let's be friends what is your favorite restaurant because I, I love trying new places like we don't usually go to the same place twice and someone said Lefka's Greek at West End. And I was like, I did not know there was Greek at West End. But we went there last night and it was really good. It was sort of really different to what we usually go for. We usually enjoy fine dining and fancy food. But this place, super casual, super yummy. And we ordered so much. We usually do. Uh, and then we take it home. We had four takeaway containers. And I ate them for lunch today. It was so yummy. The moussaka wasn't as good here. It was like... Just a bit dry but everything else was really really yummy they were super busy too i think my favorite is probably greca hi he looks so handsome for our anniversary leo got these it's called a float package or something it basically is like a couple's float and i don't really know what that entails it's like a relaxation thing at like a day spa kind of wellness center thing and it's also like a couple's massage which is so sweet and i love presents like that where it's just like experiences and doing things together and i don't know i feel like material things to us uh you know just material things and we're people who if we want something we could just buy it so it's really special to um i think have experiences and my love language is definitely acts of service acts of services and actions and things rather than physical gifts i'm just using that translucent powder over my eyelids again because i'm the crease queen i'm gonna go in with my hula benefit bronzer because like even though i did all that contouring i feel like you cannot even tell oh. i better get a solid pig for the gram all this effort <laughs> um but it's stopped raining it's been raining for literally two weeks and we we're actually supposed to do the Morton Bay Triathlon this morning and I was really looking forward to it. Both Leo and I were doing it. We have been training pretty passively for it, but it's just a short distance one, but it has been uh, rescheduled for the first week of July, I believe. June or July? No, Ju June. Like two weeks time, I think. So that's a bit of a shame because that was a really fun thing that we were going to do together on our anniversary. And then going in with the Tarte Quirky Blush. Again, oh, do I need it? Yeah. Over blushing. Going to go over my highlighter with the Hourglass Radiant Light. Such a pretty beige color. You guys know how much I love beige. And also just under my brows, down the bridge of my nose, a cupid's bow. And I'm going to fill in my brows with my favorite brow pencil, which is the Chanel number 10. 
getting my brows microbladed is was the best thing I literally ever did so the next video that I film is going to be I think our engagement story time and I put up a poll on my Instagram of questions that you guys would like to know and then after that, I think I'm going to finally film the Hot Girl Book Club because I'm up to 11, 11 or 12 books so far this year. Leo just notified me that I have a chocolate stain on the white dress that I wanted to wear, which is such a buzzkill. So I think that my backup is going to be a red dress. I'm just going in with this brownie luminous, it's called luminous, smoke balm by The Balm. My crease. And then on my lid, I'm just going in with the color smoking, which is just like this glittery white. And now I'm going to do just a bit of mascara. And I, oh, am I going to do fake? Yeah, I'm going to do fake lashes. Go hard or go home. Ew, I got out better than sex. No, put that away. Awful. Not worth it. Zero out of ten. This is the Maybelline Sky High. Not the waterproof one because we went through that. We did the Holy Grail mascara ordeal. I'm not really putting this on very like diligently just because I will be putting lashes on. Also an update, I recently bought, what brand was it? One Sarah's Day uses Esme Skin Minerals. Uh, expensive, I paid for it myself of course. Immediate thoughts are very nice, I like it a lot. Do I think it warrants its price? Potentially because it's made in Australia. But I don't think that I'll be repurchasing, but I do like it. Just going over my face with All Nighter by Urban Decay, which I don't think that I like, but it's one of the two setting sprays that I have. Neither of them are very good. It sort of just makes me look sweaty after a little while and I have to powder my nose. Um, so there's that. I'm going to go in with my lashes. <laughs> the best lashes of all time. The Holy Grail one should we use today? I haven't worn lashes in the longest time. I don't even know who I am. Yeah, princess. Let's do princess. So I just glued up my lashes with the Holy Grail Lash Glue, which is amazing, by the way. I do have a discount code if you would like it. It is 15% off. The products are already so affordable and the quality is amazing and like the owner is just everything and we love to see it. Let the glue go tacky. This is the finished look. I just topped it off with Fiery by Stilla, my favorite liquid lip. And then I just put Pore ointment over the top to give it like a sheen. This is the dress that I'm wearing. It's just like this mid-length red dress. I'm pairing it with my nude Louboutins and my Louis Vuitton Anna bag in beige, which I love. <laughs> showered and done my skincare routine I'm just in my pajamas planning my lesson for tomorrow but that will wrap up this vlog i hope you guys did enjoy it make sure you hit the subscribe button below i'll wait make sure you also give it a thumbs up and leave a comment and i'll see you guys in the next one mm -hmm.